the thermocouple responds quickly. The IC sensor responds more slowly to changes in temperature. How do they respond to more extreme temperatures, like the very hot air from this uh, paint stripping heat gun? Again, the IC sensor is slower. And then something funny starts to happen. The temperature drops, and then suddenly rockets up to almost 5 volts. That's not what we would expect when we heat up the transducer, so let's try it again. Same effect. This shouldn't be a surprise because these high temperatures are way over the limits specified for the transducer. And yet we got lucky. After it cools down, it still works the same way it worked before. Let's try with a flame and see what happens. As it heats up, we see the same kind of behavior that we saw before. But then we start to see a little bit of flame and smoke. Looks like we broke it this time. The voltage isn't coming back down to the reasonable levels that we had before. Let's try something even hotter and see what happens. We can get the thermocouple glowing too. When we take the torch away, it cools quickly. Moment of truth for the thermocouple. <laughs>